Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to customize your iOS 14 device using the new iOS 14.3 features. With the release of iOS 14.3 we have some new features that will make iOS 14 customization way better. So in this video we're going to talk about custom icons. I will show you guys how to set wallpapers that will change whether your device is on dark mode or light mode which is of course really cool and we have some more stuff to talk about so let's get right into it. Let's get it started with custom icons. So of course, since the release of iOS 14, everyone has been going crazy about customizing their devices. And of course, custom icons are a big part of that. So basically what you do here is create a shortcut to open an app. Then you add that shortcut to the home screen with a custom image that of course being an icon. And then you go ahead and open the app using that shortcut, which now you have on the home screen. But since iOS 14, if you do that, it would take you first to the shortcuts app and then open the app that you want to open. But you can see right here, now with the release of iOS 14.3, there is a new feature that now just takes you right into the app without taking you to the shortcuts first. And that's really, really amazing. So this is a big new feature of iOS 14.3, of course, when it comes to customizing your device, you don't have that annoying transition anymore. Now, of course, these are pretty simple to create. So if you just don't know how to do that, you go to the shortcuts app. Let me take you real quick through the steps here. Tap the plus button, tap on add action, tap on scripting right here, and then go ahead and tap an open app tap on choose here and choose whichever app you want to open, tap the next button and just name it right here. So let's just go ahead and name this, tap the dumb button and you're good to go. You have created the shortcut. Now tap on the three dots right here, tap the share button, add to home screen, and now just go ahead, tap this little icon and it will let you go ahead and choose a photo that you have saved and set it as the icon for this shortcut. Let's just go ahead and pick here a custom icon that we have saved. So here I have a few custom icons, go ahead and just choose right here, this one for the books app, tap on done, tap on add, tap done once again there. And now we have a custom icons for the book app. And you can see if I just go ahead and tap right there, it will open directly to the app without redirecting me through the shortcuts app. So this is the new feature of iOS 14. Of course, really cool. It will make customization way better. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that if you open the app right here, it will show you that little notification, which disappears in a second, but it's a bit annoying. Hopefully Apple will add a way to just go ahead and stop that from appearing. Now, let me show you guys how to create a dynamic wallpaper, which will change based whether you're on dark mode or light mode. So here is what I'm talking about. I have here two wallpapers saved. They're basically the same wallpaper, but it's the light mode and the dark mode of the same wallpaper. These are the Mac OS wallpapers. So what I want to do is set this wallpaper to be automatically set on the home screen and lock screen of my device when the dark mode is turned on and the other one automatically when the light mode is turned on. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have light mode and dark mode set on automatic. So if you go to options right here, we'll have sunset to sunrise or custom schedule. Now, if you have sunset to sunrise, rise you just leave it like that if you have custom schedule just make sure to check the clocks right here so you will need to set the wallpaper to be set at this exact time so they will change both at the same time so if we have light mode at 7 a.m then we have to set the light wallpaper at 7 a.m so what you need to do is go ahead open the shortcuts app first of all make sure you go ahead and download two different shortcuts that i will leave right down below in the description of the video so we have one for light mode and dark mode. So what you do is go ahead and download two wallpapers. You will find them on an app that I will show you guys and you can find them everywhere. So you'll find a wallpaper for the dark mode and one for the light mode and just go ahead and separate them into two different albums. On the photos app, just go ahead and create a light album and a dark album. And then of course, once you have downloaded these two shortcuts, you just go ahead and tap the three dots right here on the light mode, just enable access to photos right here. And then when it says album is, make sure you go ahead and choose the album where you have saved the light wallpaper. On the other one, you do the same. You just go ahead, tap right there and just here on the album, choose the album where you have saved the dark wallpaper. Once you have done that, then what you need to do is go ahead and go to automations. On automations, tap on create personal automation and tap 
time of the day. Now, if you're using sunset and sunrise with the light mode and dark mode, then you can go ahead and choose here sunrise. So if we want to set the light wallpaper, just go ahead and tap on sunrise, leave it at this, tap, just tap done right there. And of course, tap here on daily, it should be by default there. So just go ahead and tap next and then tap action and then just go ahead and choose run shortcut. So let's just go ahead, run shortcut. So here we have a run shortcut, tap on the shortcut and choose right here, light and tap the next button. Make sure you go ahead and disable this. Don't ask and tap done. So now we have set this automation to be run automatically at sunrise. So at sunrise, light mode will be turned on and this automation will go on so it will set the light wallpaper which is really really cool again if you don't want to do that with the sunset and sunrise you can do that at the exact time so just go ahead do the same here and just go ahead and pick the time here so you set for example 7 a.m and you do the same procedure now once you have set this of course you will have this for light mode you will have to create another one here so go to personal automation time of the day and now just choose sunset Tap the done button here, tap next, tap on run shortcut here. So run shortcut and then go ahead, tap on shortcut and choose dark here. Tap next, disable this, done. And now we have two different automations, one that will set the dark wallpaper on sunset and one that will set the light wallpaper on sunrise. Of course, when you customize your device and create these awesome automations, you also need some really cool wallpapers. You can find them on Wallpaper Central, one of my favorites lately. So right here, if you go ahead and search like for, let's say, Mac OS or something like that, you will be able to find these wallpapers. So you can see here, search for Mac OS and you will find here, you can see Mac OS. We have the dark mode. We have here also the light mode. You will find a ton of cool wallpapers that you can set for the light mode and dark mode. Or of course you can just pick whichever wallpaper you prefer for light and dark mode. But if you want to do like the same as Mac OS, you can do that from here. So these are the wallpapers that I had there. So really, really cool. So this is one of the wallpaper apps that I use to find like cool wallpapers for your iOS 14 device. Of course, if you just go here and go to the search section and search for dual, you will be able to find some really, really cool wallpapers that will allow you to easily customize your device. Of course, these will give it a very nice look. You can see the split view here. You can see the preview, how cool they will look. So you will have the dark side there with the different widgets and here we'll have the icons. So as easy as that, with just a few wallpapers, you can make your device look really, really cool. So here you have them. And of course, you will have a bunch more. Just go ahead and explore the app. Now let's get real quick into widgets. I have posted some really cool widgets on some of my videos and some of my thumbnails. So I had a lot of questions about them. And let me show you guys real quick where I get all those cool widgets. Now, when it comes to iOS 14 home screen widgets, Widget is by far my favorite app. It offers a lot. It lets you create your own widgets, customize them, get new ones and edit them, do anything you want. And of course, they will make your device look really, really cool. So you can see a few widgets that we have here. You can see how cool these are. They really stand out and make your device look totally, totally different. Now, what I like about these is, is that most of them offer a lot of information regarding your device. So they are really, really cool. And of course, you will have a bunch of different options. You can create a new one or you can go ahead and join the community. So when I don't have time to mess around with widgets, of course, I just go ahead here and explore these widgets, which are really, really awesome. You can see right here, this one, how cool this is. Of course, always a big shout out to everyone working on these widgets. They're doing an amazing job. So how to get them, you go ahead, go to the post right here, and you should find here a link for the QR code that you will need to import this widget. So here are the links. Just go ahead and tap there. And then what you can do is just go ahead and save this to your photos. Now you go back to widget and tap on import widget. And from here, you can go ahead and go to the camera roll and just load that image that you just saved. So once you have loaded the image, it will show you right here the widget. Now, of course, this widget needs to have an image there. Of course, you need to import that from your own wallpaper so that it looks good on the home screen and has the transparent look. But either way, this is how you go ahead and add widgets. I've been asked a lot about the widgets that I post 
on Instagram, on my thumbnails or any of my videos. So this is where I get them. Widget is the app to go when we're talking about iOS 14 home screen widgets. And of course, everyone that wants to make their device look really, really cool, go ahead and try out Widget. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the ways to customize your iOS 14 device with the new iOS 14.3 features, which are amazing. Of course, we talked a bit also about what to find like cool wallpapers and also awesome widgets, which will make your device look very different. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.